Well, hey there team, welcome back to the channel and welcome to To The Core. This, this is the cold open, press space. So I thought I'd stop here, let's do an intro. Scarlet's fed up. Scarlet has been pushed too far and, and the straw has broken the, the back and, and so on and so forth and analogies and sayings and idioms and whatever. Um, I'm sick of playing crap games and giving them a platform and I needed a palate cleanse. So I saw this game on Steam and apparently numbers go up, incremental, drill goes brr and you drill into planets. You use the, um, the resources to then make the numbers go up and drill into more planets. That sounds brilliant. That sounds like exactly what I want because I'm sick of, sick of crap <laughs> and I would like to play a game, please. So here we go. Let's see what this is about. Hello, please adjust your volume. Uh, yeah, whatever, that'll do. Good. Pl pl this is an interesting intro. Please set your resolution. Well, can I, can I put it on that, please? Is that reasonable? Nice. Nice one. Thank you. Thank you, screen. Please select your favorite rock. Oh, they're all pretty good, but um, I got to go with middle. Middle, surely. Yes, that's my favorite. Thank you. Yes. You are ready. I am. Am I? It's a statement. I am. I am ready, actually. Your one sole objective, get to the core. All right. I'm an objective-based boy. I like being pointed in a direction. I'm kind of a drill in human form, if you think about it. To the core, play. Play. Let's go. Travel to a planet. Click on a planet and press travel. Go to shop. I've got no money, so let's not go to the shops. Let's go... What's this question mark? Let's go to this planet. Home, strange, hmm, size 20, terrain roughness, a fuel per second one. We got iron, silicon, and aluminium, you silly Americans. That's how you pronounce it. All right, here we go. Uh, what's going on? I know it said adjust volume, but uh, can I, can I add, uh, like, oh, oh, it's on like, oh, 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 <laughs> okay. Hang on a sec. Let's make sure that that's not too loud. I think that's all right. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Cam shake intensity. These are the only options that I need to get through life, to be honest. Okay, so what's going on here? Am, am I doing anything? Do I click? Go to the shop and sell the resources. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, I, I move the mouse in a direction. Oh, look, th so that's like, oh, it's a drill. I guess it's a drill. All right, fuel. Now go. Stick stick your head in this little hole. What if I do? Oh, <gasps> you died. I can die. Oh, I guess I died. I ran out of fuel. Okay, go to shop. I like the music. Skill tree, resources, sell iron. All right, buy an upgrade. Buy the drill upgrade. Is that this one? Drill damage. Increase drill costs. Buy. Can I buy some more? I can. And then we've got question marks. I don't know. Okay, they're locked out. What about this? Ore extraction. Increased drop rate of blocks. Well, that costs iron, does it? Oh, these cost actual resources. Whereas this drill bit costs money. All right, let's go. Go to... So All right, this is good. This is good, right? So, like, I'm much calmer now. Scarlet's much happier. But in a world where we're getting these writing-heavy, just absolute dog shit games that are being encouraged by the it group the small percent that seem to run a lot of silicon valley you're also getting games like this right a very simple premise but enough polish and work like don't just don't think simple is a disparagement a lot of thought goes into these games and making the moving parts click just because it has a simple premise does not mean that it has a simple design philosophy well si it's simple ish anyway Anyways, all right, let's go, let's go. I don't think I can press anything. I can just... Now, my fuel seems to tick more when I... when I do damage. Oh yeah, 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 this is good. No, I wanna go back there, man. I wanna go back to my hole. Oh, I'm out of fuel. I'm not allowed to restart. I am allowed to restart. Do I get to keep my iron? I wonder. Oh, this is... Oh, this is good. It's just engaging enough. 
Like, you want these people to write walls of text about, oh, I don't know, apparent racism in Baldur's Gate. You know, these people have these opinions. Why don't you write about the nuance of engagement theory and making an incremental game just engaging enough to make the, the brain squirt out the chemicals that make you go <laughs> and make you feel better about your life, right? This is good. All I'm doing is pointing the mouse towards the thing and it's getting knocked around and, and flogged around. And it's, in, it's engaging. It's enough. It's enough for someone who's not perpetually online and like for someone who plays games for a living. I'm surprisingly not addicted to them. It, enough is enough. Um, okay, what's going on here? So increase drop rate of blocks. That sounds pretty good. Let's do that. Buy me a million of them, please. And what's going on here? Increase fuel tank size. Oh, why is that red? I don't know. I don't know. Silicon plating. Armor will block some damage. Oh, allows you to see level two planets. So I can only see this level one planet. Oh man, this is crack. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. You don't need medication, you just need a clicker where you drill into a planet. Come on, come on, let me in, let me in. So, I'm not taking damage so much as you can see the little, there's a ticker ticking down, but every time I impact, I lose 7.3 fuel, like fuel is kind of my health. Collected, shop. Right, give me more fuel. Resources. Uh, hang on, buffs. Plus 5% multiplier for drops, 1% less durable, plus 5% sell price. Oh, okay, that's from selling X amount. I think, maybe. Good. Increments. Number go up. Scarlet brain go yay. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, 100%. I would rather play this and I mean, I was going to say not all AAA games. I'm playing Armored Core in the background. Oh, that chapter one final boss was a doozy, but I punched his head in. Didn't, didn't quit out like all the other bloody 90% of streamers. Can't pass a bloody, uh... What was that game? Was it Cuphead? The, tu the, the, the tutorial? The infamous tutorial? Remember the press couldn't figure out how to jump? Now look, I'm, I'm not exactly a hardcore boy. I don't clock Dark Souls 3 with a bloody dance pad, but I'd like to see I'm, I'm, I'd like to think that I'm middlingly competent when it comes to gaming. Shop, let's go. Yeah, okay, so when you see... Re oh, it's collected resources. So just by collecting it... Just by collecting it, that goes up? Is that the idea? Yeah, selling doesn't seem to make... Okay, so collect more iron, and then the iron multipliers will go up. Now, what's this bloke here? Coin siphon. Siphon a percentage of coins from blocks. Oh, yeah, give me, give me that. In the immortal words of the warrior poet Britney Spears. Give me, give me more. Give me more, give me, give me more. So... Do I really need bigger drill damage, though? Is it making a difference? Doesn't seem to be. If I just flog around while I'm in here, have a little bloody tantrum, I can get more value. I can do it faster. I can do the thing faster. Okay, shop. Increase drop rate of blocks. Let's do that. And then let's do that. Alright. And then let's go back. Let's go back. Look how much fuel I have. So it's going to be a slow start, but that's how incrementals go, right? This is, <laughs> these things can take up like three months of your life. Yeah. And look, incremental adjacent. This is the world we live in, right? Attention spans have been changed for better or for worse. 
How many people can't watch a movie without fiddling on a phone at the same time? And the, the, the old man in me wants to say that that's because people aren't paying attention and, and all that, but you never know, it might just be the next step of how humans consume media. I've heard rumours about setting up things like out of Back to the Future for multiple, watching multiple channels on a screen at once, that sort of thing, right? I'm, I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest, that that might just be where it's going. So things like this are becoming more popular. Vampire Survivors was a blowout hit, and then because that's an idler at heart as well. And then you've got roguelikes as well. These shorter run sort of, you know, curated, do a 10 minute, 30 minute run. I've forever said that I think AAA should be going down the narrative high production roguelike path. Returnal to me, I really hope that informed a lot of the uh, the industry. Sorry, I'm using my hands. Keep playing, Scarlet. Keep playing. Uh, stop clicking that. You gotta click that. Um, and then I guess I could sell whatever I've got left. Um, and Returnal, if you haven't played it, is is actually quite brilliant. It's a triple A. It's got a narrative component, but it's it's ultimately a really solid roguelike with super high production value. And I, I would love to see that. I'm less interested in playing a, a padded side quest, like average side quest filled, narrative heavy, voice actors with way too much bloody recognition than they should have. Um, I don't want any of that uh, thing go for 12 hours that it really should have only gone for a couple, but it was just absolutely bloated and padded with subpar gameplay. I would rather give me, give me a a roguelike and build your narrative around that. Returnal's done, the way Returnal's done it has been, um, I want that juicy stuff in the middle, man. Let's go. The way Returnal's done it is that it will drip feed you stories as, as you, between each run, right? And funnily enough, uh, Exo Primal, not super well received, but I loved that. That's kind of got the same vibe in a run-based way. I wouldn't call it roguelike because it's more of a PvE, PvP game. But you do a run and then you get like a cutscene, you do a couple of runs, you get another cutscene. I think that's how they should be building narratives. Build a really tight level gameplay loop. Like this, this is just really small punchy loops, but it's fun, it's addicting. And then put your story beats in between the loops. That just should be how it is. Now what is this crap? Gravity lock. Total shift to, to not get knocked back when you break a block. Oh, I want that. I want that. Gravity lock one. Eh? What's with the coin cipher? Alright, so how's this work? Toggle shift. They're giving me more buttons. Oh! Oh! In I go, baby! Alright! Restart. Send me in again. I change colour. Yeah, in! Oh, I think I'm bouncing because of uh, the drill strength, perhaps. Let's try that again. Wait, can I just... Yeah. Go, baby, go! Send it! Yeah, okay. Oh, look! Oh, did you see that? I bounced off a block and it didn't actually smash through it. Silicon Mastery. Okay, cool. Now, what's this? Silicon plated drill. Ooh, 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 baby! Now you're talking my language. Drill damage, that goes up by a little bit, and that goes up by an absolute bucket. Now what's this? Silicon plating. Wuss. Will negate some of the block damage. Silicon drop rates. Wuss. Scarlet's having a great little time. Gravity me through, baby. Give me that silicone. More. More. I love that there's that sort of instant reload button. That's actually really clever. You know. And I was playing for Fort Solace is what broke me, right? Fort Solace is just everything wrong with the industry that you've seen in AAA, but now it's at the indie level. And that just that now it's now it's on my front door, so Scarlet's really cracking the sads. It was all good and well when the AAA companies were flushing everything down the the dunny when it came to 
narrative construction and gameplay thin stuff. But now we're getting that emulation at the indie level and I, I despise that. But things like this, thinking about, like, you could do a course on game design over this. Watch this. Let's play for five seconds. Like one, two, three, four, five, right? That gameplay loop and in the restart, and then you, you're going to start muscle memorying restart. Yes, yes, number goes up. Let's go, right? The thought that's gone into making this a tight... Now, this might not be for you. I understand that. That's fine. But my point is that some real thought has gone into actually making this a, a dopamine machine um, and actually catering to a player. Now, it might not be you. It might be just me or, or other people. But the point is, the design philosophy is to make the player happy as opposed to make the writer's ego bigger or, you know, impress your handful of mates or try to make some sort of ideological impact on industry. Do you sort of see what I'm getting at? This is interested in one thing and it's interested in going, you paid your whatever I paid for this, 10 bucks, I think, which is fairly expensive as far as idle clickers go. A lot of them are free with microtransactions. I'd rather just pay the door fee and not have microtransactions or, or a store, you know. Um, and now it's just interested in earning the 10 bucks off, you know, the goodwill. Oh, I'm having a great time, obviously. All right, now what, what's this? That's silicon. What's this? That's like super fuel. Give me that. Give me super fuel. Give me that. Give me that. What's this over here? What's this bloody bloody star over here? Give me that. And then have I got anything left to sell? Sell that. Give me that. Just enough menus at the moment. It's not overwhelming at all. It's punchy and it's got a depth to it. Whoops, got to press shift, Scarlet, you goose. Oh, let's go, baby. Look at this. I'm starting to, I'm starting to take it. Oh, that red stuff's gonna hurt. What is that? Aluminium. Not really sure that's how a planet would Well, no, I'm talking outside of my range. I, I wouldn't know, to be honest. Oh, what's this? Recover a percentage of block health as fuel? Oh, that's cool. Yes, I'm developing my little rhythm. Oh yeah, we just... Oh, look at that! Look at that! The gravity lock's getting us right in there, man. Yeah, flog around, baby. Let's do a couple more runs while we're here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That screen shake is good. It helps. It makes the dopamine pump harder. Yeah, 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 yeah. More, 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 more. What happens when I get to the core? I need to know. All right, shop. What's going on here? What's this? Ore siphon. Siphon a percentage of ore when breaking a block. That sounds pretty cool. Give me my health refund. Give me my aluminium armor. Sell these. What else can we buy? Let's get the coin siphon. Let's get the super fuel. Let's get back in there, get a couple more runs in there, mate. All the way through, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, these bloody red blocks, man, can go rope. Can I like, eh? I was like, can I rotate around the planet a bit? That would be cool. Ah, give, me, give me a bit more. If I, no, I can't really drive around. Uh, maybe I can get more drill abilities later. The gravity lock's really clever. And then there's a whole thing, you see it in RPGs a lot. Th th this whole, or even like character action games, you know, your God of Wars, your, your Darksiders, these games, which more often than not, they get the balance wrong where you'll play the beginning of a game 
where you only have X powers. You only have one of your character's 10 powers. And instead of building the game to be interesting, often a lot of these games are, they're not really super fun until you have your full kit at the end. Do you know what I mean? They're designed, they're designed back to front. Like here are all the cool abilities your dude can have. And the game is only really fully designed and functional in the last act. As opposed to, you need to design the first act of the game incredibly different to the way you design the final act, and you have to design it around the powers that your character has. So it doesn't feel like you've got an arm, like it doesn't feel like you're playing an underpowered dude and you're waiting for the game to get good. You've got like one or two powers and you're sitting there going, Oh, this is this is really good. And then when it gives you a new power and all of a sudden you can zipline or some crap and then the game basically changes. Why I'm talking about this is even in this, they've got it right, where you're just bouncing against the edge and it's like, oh, okay, I get the nuance of steering against the block like this. That's how the game started, what, 10 minutes ago. And then now, um, now we've got this gravity lock thing, which is just sort of drilling through those layers. Like, it's actually really well designed as far as... You know, you can almost not remember not having the gravity lock, right? But when you didn't have it, the game worked in its own right. Does this make sense? Anyway. Anyway. It's a good game. It's solid. It knows what it's doing. I mean, it's probably not game of the year. I know I'm sort of excited and I'm kind of gushing about it. And obviously a lot of that's heavy bias, the fact that I'm... I'm, I'm mid-bloody 2023 gaming industry crisis. And uh, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see when bloody St Starfield comes out. Everyone's going to play it. Everyone's excited. Um, I think a lot of people are trying to pretend like it's not going to be a broken Bethesda game. Like It's going to be broken as anything. We're going to be clipping through walls and falling through the world and and crashing every bloody couple of- every 15 minutes. Just like every Fallout game ever before it. But they're all still pretty good. So I'm- I'm expect- I'm going in, I think, with my eyes open. I'm expecting it to be an absolute- an absolute mess, but still really cool. <laughs> and I wouldn't even call myself a huge Skyrim- I played Skyrim through once, like I completed it all, but I never played it again. And the Fallout game's pretty good, I really like Fallout 4. I played a little 76 after they fixed it, that was... It's not bad. It kind of feels like you're doing a guided tour sometimes, the, the way the narrative's constructed. But space, man, that's my jam. So Starfield's gonna be good, but it's gonna be a mess. And it just boggles me that there are people that think that somehow it's not gonna be broken on, on release. In a, in, a, in a time now, since the last... Since 76 was broken as anything, and ever since then, it has become the norm for AAA games to be broken on release day. So can you just imagine? Because when 76 came out, it was unheard of. Like, games weren't that broken. Or, you know, it would be rarer, you know, like your Dark Knight, or whatever it was called, Arkham Knight sort of time period, where it, w it made headlines when it was that broken. Whereas now, it would make headlines if a game's not broken. So I anticipate Starfield to be absolutely busted. <laughs> but I'll still play it and I'll still have a good time. I'll just temper expectations. Anyway, I got off topic a little bit. But that's what I want to do during an idler. Alright. Let's spend our fuel after our money. Shopping. What's this? Thrusters. Allows you to fly by using the up and down keys. Well, hang on a sec, game. Now you just now you're just spoiling me. What's this? Coin siphon. What's this? Or refine? Give me fuel. Give me armor. Give me money. Give me more. Alright, let's see what these thrusters are about. I was just about ready to, to bloody finish up. I'm using- wait. Was it up and down with the arrow keys? Oh, it's- oh, Wazda. Oh, Wazda. Look at this. Hang on a sec. This is interesting. This is giving me a little bit more to play with. Look at this. Now we're pod racing. Holy heck.
So I don't have left and right, so I sort of have to carry that. Oh, hang on. We can just, we can go all the way back out and then we can drill back in. He's figured it out. <laughs> we mowing the lawn now, baby. Look at this. No, this screen shake will probably give people a headache. Oh, wait. We... Oh, look at this. Hang on. We're, we're gonna get in. I think. What just happened? Go. I can hold down. I can hold the thruster down. Oh, it's so dense. Let me in! Give me the... Give me the egg! Let my little sperm in! You died? Oh. Oh, hang on. Go. Go! Go! Oh! Oh, okay. Maybe I'm not ready for the core. <laughs> anyway, cool. And then I, I guess I can unlock more planets and, and the increment goes on. Well, there you go. Best 10 bucks I've spent this week, that's for sure. This is a really cool game. You should check it out, especially if you need a palate cleanse. And maybe you're just fed up. You're just like me and you're sick of just being shoveled crap and, uh, and, and you've had enough. Anyway, <laughs> Scarlet having a mental breakdown, but playing a clicker that he enjoys. So I guess it all balances out in the end. Team, might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.